Hi, this is Jim, your project expert with Water Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video for your viewing pleasure and enjoyment. Today we're going to touch on uh, Well Pumps 102 or Deep Well Pumps and get a little more in-depth on how these pumps work and what their, their role is in, in wells and feeding water to your home or sprinkler system. Uh, first of all, these are submersible pumps, unlike the shallow well and convertible jet pumps that are non-submersible. These pumps will go down into the well. Um, these come in three or four inch well uh, casings. Our standard uh, Flowtech, uh, Burkham, Lancaster, Little Giant, Red Lion pumps and such are a four inch diameter, actually like 3.90 inch diameter, so they will fit in a four inch well casing. Uh, Grunfoss pumps that we carry are rated for three inch wells, so they're going to be a little bit smaller than a, a three inch well casing. They'll slide down in those wells with ease. Um, basically, you got a motor in the bottom. You've got a inlet or your suction in the middle, and you've got your pump end on the top. Depending on what that pump is rated for, for flow rate, for pressure and depth or discharge head lift, you may have anywhere from uh, six to maybe eighteen or twenty or more stages uh, on that on that motor or on that pump end. Stage means an impeller. So if you got a twelve stage pump, you've got 12 impellers stacked up one another on top of the, on top of each other in that in that housing. Um, we talked about two wire and three wire in a different video. Uh, two wire is not going to have the control box. Three wire will. Uh, again, these pumps are usually designed to handle well over 500 feet of discharge head lift. Um, there are pumps out there that will do much more than that. Um, they do have a built-in uh, check valve in the discharge, so you don't need a check valve unless you're doing, I believe it's over about 200 feet of lift. Uh, if you're doing a uh, well that's going uh, more than 200 feet, you typically want to have a check valve, I believe it's every 200 feet in that discharge. So that, again, that's something else listed in the instructions. Uh, these pumps will push discharge uh, or push or discharge water Again, through the top of the pump, you can put them in wells, cisterns, ponds, lakes, uh, any kind of water source they'll work well in. They will usually give you a little bit better pressure and flow um, than your uh, standard shallow well or convertible jet pumps. So hence the reason people use these a little bit more often. And uh, if you're going to put it in a lake, especially uh, in the northern part of the country where that lake may freeze over, as long as the pump is still in water, no matter how cold that water is, uh, those pumps and, and motors are filled with a glycol mixture, so they'll they'll withstand those colder temperatures. Um, little diagram down here is showing you a quick idea on how they work, uh, how the installation works. You've got your motor, you got your inlet, you got your pump. You want to attach a torque arrester on there. Again, you got a built-in check valve. Uh, the torque arrester will help absorb the shock from that motor starting and twisting when it stops and starts. Uh, that may prevent the uh, discharge from maybe starting to unscrew or crack or something like that. You uh, go up to a pitless adapter. Normally all that piping is underground. So the pitless adapter feeds the underground lines to the home or to whatever system you're, you're supplying to. You may have a, uh, another chuck valve in line there. You might uh, have a control box, uh, pressure switch, uh, pressure tank, things like that. So that gives you a quick idea on how that works. Again, just a little tutorial on what these pumps are designed to do. One other note too, all these are gonna have a motor mount, they're gonna have a little hole in the top here. That's to tie off either a rope or a chain when you're installing this pump or when you're dropping it down in the well. You wanna make sure that that rope or chain has uh, got the proper length based on how far you're dropping that pump um, and tie that off right away. Uh, that's really designed so if that uh, pipe or anything cracks and you lose that pump, you're not gonna lose it. You have a way to retrieve that pump and pull it back up out of the well. Uh, and that's something you want to usually tie off uh, during the installation, even afterwards, and keep it tied off. So even during the life of the pump, if something should happen and that, uh, that discharge pipe cracks or breaks, you have a way to retrieve that pump. Um, again, hopefully that helps you a little bit with deep well pumps. If you have any other questions, uh, any ideas for other Q&A videos, shoot me an email. Uh, give me a call. Check out our website, waterpumpsdirect.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Until next time, y'all have a great day. Take care.